This is an old corn grinder and a lot of that antique store up in the mountains of North Carolina. And it, it was busted when I bought it. Just this. The rest of it, there was a little chip missing out of it. The rest of it seems to be in good condition. So I'm gonna tear it apart, see if I can weld that handle back together and see if I can get some corn ground for the chickens. So the man that I bought it off of, he said he attempted to weld it back together, and he did, and uh, it just didn't hold, but it did break pretty cleanly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack weld it. I'm gonna grind down into the, the metal, and I'm gonna build up my weld from there. pretty deep in there so I'll just go ahead and, and fill that and then I'll continue to grind a little bit and fill it with the with the weld. it up and it's still hot and what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to grind this to close to flat and then we're going to take a I switched over to my grinding wheel instead of my cutting wheel we'll get it close to flat and then once we get it close to flat we'll switch over to a just a regular flat file and, and try to get it smooth and round filed it. Now we'll take some sandpaper and sand it down a little bit. This is 60 grit. So we'll get it sanded down. Alright, so I hooked it up to my shop smith because it's uh, a little bit of time consuming. And if you don't have one, you could always hand sand it. But I have a shop smith, so I'm going to go ahead and use it. So I get this thing turned on and start sanding.
There's some pitting in there. The weld looks like it held up pretty good. There's a little spot right there that didn't contact all the way through. It didn't bond too well, but for the most part, it'll work.